Hello, Efren. Nice to see you back at the Red Art Gallery. And uh, congratulations to you to, because you do a great job on keeping track of all the arts and openings and goings on in Victoria. Um, anyway, uh, we have our first anniversary show on at the moment. And um, actually, we're not even a full year old yet. We, our official anniversary date is February 16th, but we decided to make February our anniversary month. And the show is actually going to be a bit of a revolving show. It's, uh, it's um, a compilation of a bunch of new works of my own and a number of our uh, regular gallery artists. And we're also featuring the work of Leonard Butt, um, who had a nice article in Focus magazine f uh, this month as well. So um, uh, the walls are filled with the normal amount of color here. In uh, Red Art Gallery, we've even got some uh, great little uh, works for Valentine's Day for those of you who are thinking of getting your sweetheart something nice. And um, I want to showcase Leonard's work because it's really wonderful stuff. Leonard uh, is actually uh, a very accomplished artist. He has won multiple times um, major awards at both the Souk Fine Art Show and the Sydney Fine Art Show. And uh, he works in clay sculpts in clay and uh, the nice um, thing that he does with a lot of his pieces is to raku fire them and I'm not enough of an expert to explain the raku firing process other than um, th the way it's done is to take the item out of a very hot kiln and cool it down very very quickly and that gives the the sheen and the dark color to the works but on the other hand it's a, a very delicate process and uh, apparently as much as 50 percent of the time the work can explode in the kiln so it's it's very much a, uh, a hit and miss kind of process but it's wonderful uh, whimsical but very very interesting work that Leonard does um, there's always a, a, a very interesting story behind his works and um, lots of intricate de detail but again as I say really kind of whimsical and fun. Um, I'll show you this. This piece is called the House of Buto, uh, which I believe in Japanese is the House of Dance. And the theory behind it, or the story behind it, is like two ships, people sh passing like two ships in the night. Um, and you'll see a lot of fish uh, uh, references in Leonard's work. So this is a great piece. And then we've got another one over here. Uh, Leonard was... Um, uh, quite, uh, I don't know, know that the word's inspired, but he was definitely touched by the events of the tsunami um, a year ago. And uh, he did this piece called Uchi, which in Japanese means home. And it's a couple of people sitting on top of their home, floating. Um, but again, another beautiful uh, Raku fired piece. Um, we've got a couple of pieces in the window over here, Efren. Oh, we'll do, do a quick talk on another uh, piece with some hearts in, If for those of you who are considering Valentine's Day again. Lucy Shappy is one of our regular artists, a great, uh, great uh, artist from Up Island, Comox area. Um, beautiful piece here. Uh, this is another one of Leonard's uh, pieces called How We First Met. This one's actually fired clay rather than raku. Um, he put a lot of work into that one and he didn't want a chance risking it in the, in the uh, raku firing process. And uh, I think you can see the, the humor in that, that piece there. Um, anyway, the, the, uh, the show, I'll maybe just uh, tell, tell you about a few of the other artists that we have in the show. Um, We've got Lucy Shappy, who I just mentioned, uh, Leonard Butt, whose sculpture work we've been covering. Uh, we have Eleanor Loudon Pigeon, some new works from Eleanor. Eleanor's uh, from Calgary, an artist that uh, has a lot of work across Canada. Um, we have work from, who else have we got here? Carolyn Kowalik, right here, uh, another local artist who uh, is an award winner at uh, Sydney Fine Arts. Um, in fact, we've got, uh, right now, we've got four artists in the gallery who have all won major awards at uh, the Sydney Fine Art Show. So we've got some really um, high-level talent in the gallery. Um, so anyway, I'll let you take a browse around and uh, maybe see some of the smaller works in the back of the gallery as well.